Hi, I'm Jay from ASAP Supplies, and in this video we're going to look at the hot pot chlorifier tanks. Now, a chlorifier gives you free hot water to give you that extra home comfort on board your boat. Now, the tanks we have are made of copper, so not only do they have excellent heat transfer properties, they also have antibacterial properties. Now, if we have a look at this particular one, it's known as the universal tank. It can be mounted vertically or horizontally, and it comes complete with all the connections fitted in it, so you can plumb it in and away you go. Now if we have a look at the individual connections we've got, we've got two 16mm hose towels, which is where the engine circulating water will come from to deliver that hot water and transfer it through to the cold water. You've got the cold water feed here, which comes from your drinking water tank, and a thermostatic mixing valve so you can control that temperature that is delivered to your taps or your showers. They're fitted with a four bar pressure release valve, so when specking up a pressure pump, take that into account as you'll need to make sure the cutout pressure is less than four bar or that would be going off all the time. And they also have a one kilowatt immersion so the water can be heated through shore power if you're not running your engine. Yes. So let's have a look at the individual components that will be in the system. So first of all we have the water tank. This will hold the water that will be delivered to the system. We then have the pressure pump which pressurizes the whole system and delivers water to the chlorifier. And then we have an accumulator or expansion tank. Now when used as an accumulator, it's fitted on the cold water side and this holds pressure in the system and stops your pump having to turn on every time you turn your tap on. Now this can prolong the life of your pump and also stop what is known as hammering. When used as an expansion, it's fitted on the hot water side and it takes up the expansion of the heating water in this tank. Now as a general rule, you need to spec this up to be about 8% of the capacity of your chlorifier tank. Now we can do all the different pipe work to connect all the system up and we can also do different size connections to fit on here if required. Hope you found this video helpful. One more thing to bear in mind is that this system would not be suitable for a direct cooled engine as the water would not get to the required temperature of 74 degrees to heat the water in here sufficiently. So if you're looking to install a domestic water system on your boat this season, please feel free to give us a call with any questions you may have. And thank you for watching.